Your number two, Trap and Hyun. Okay, this could very well be the last match of the night. It might. There's still like a final match of this um, of this group. Yeah. I forget who's down there, but I guess MMA is down there. So. Yeah. Well, let's just wait and let this one unfold. Yeah. No super early pools just yet. So, uh, just kind of uh, waiting to see because, like, during this uh, during this set of like Protoss versus Zerg matches, we've cast a lot of them. We've seen like a lot of similar openings, but so we could predict which one it's going to be until we sort of see this fleshed out. We see a pile on the high ground here for Trap. We've seen a lot of uh, Gate Nexus core builds on this map already today, and I'm thinking that's exactly what we're going to see here. There's the Gate. Yeah, very safety first, you know, avoiding any sort of. Uh, yeah. Possible Ling rushes on a two-player map like this. Not a bad idea. And we are seeing a very early gas from Hyun. 14-14. Mm, mm. So he's going to get speedling out nice and quick. Not a bad idea considering where that placement is. He had to sort of block the natural for the longest time. Yeah, we've seen this already a lot today. I mean, the reason why we see this build, like every single PvZ of cast today, is because, like I said earlier, most players prepare one build for every matchup on every map. There's three maps, three matchups. You just have an idea of what build you want to do on every map, which just you've been doing on the ladder all the time anyways. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it stands to reason that the most efficient build that most pros have kind of agreed on ends up being this one. And uh, as Zerg start to figure that out in this qualifier, so we see punish builds like what we're seeing from Hyun here. Let's well, see how much of a punish build it's going to be now. Yeah. Because I'm sure he wasn't expecting Trap to scout him this quickly from a gate opening. Mm. Yeah, see, this is like a, one of those builds that like certainly can punish, but when you get scouted, it may be a bit awkward. He's going to want to get this wall up ASAP. Yeah, I wonder if he's going to even put a forge down the front. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe a forge and a cannon, stop the links from poking at all. Yeah, he's cutting probes to make a, a core first. Core first. Chrono boost the Zealot as well. I think we will see that forge next. This probe is checking to see if like it's a big commitment or if it's going to be a third hatch eventually. Hmm. There's that probe cut still, and I think the forge is the next logical choice. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a forge. I'm not 100%. No, nope. gateway. Okay. No forges for this guy. Hmm, interesting. I guess the gateway is just a bit bigger, but still, it's not going to solve the problem of this. Ling's poking that pile, yeah. and when it's six lings. You are going to need at least two well, zealots. Now he's got two zealots. Still oh, going to be tough. Like, the zealot can actually just get yeah. surrounded and killed here if the other one doesn't come off. Oh, he's going to kill it. Okay, he gets oh. in. Unpowers the cyber core, which is really annoying. Speed's it. almost on. I feel like we jumped Ooh. into a game just like this earlier. We, like, literally came into a game where Hyun had, like, three links in the base and then speed finished. Like, I feel like we've literally watched this yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, actually. Yeah. It's like, I'm not having deja vu, right? Like, this actually really happened. That really. was legit, man. <laughs> Two links on the main. And they're going to keep running around. Going to maybe catch this low probe, yeah? Oh, it's so annoying dealing with two speed... Like, just speed links in general, if, if you're a Protoss without Stalkers. They're mm -hmm. running for days. Speed runners. Starcraft. That's what I like to, what I like to hear, Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> Scratching that... Uh, Pylon shield away. I need to get that back charged up. They're looking for something. They're looking for food. Mechanical food. Just having to force a little bit more micro out of trap. Multi multitasking. Well, he has to multitask himself. Arguably a little bit harder. Oh, definitely. Um, oh, the gates are up. Two of them. Warp gate research on the way. No forge. And no tech until these links are cleaned up. This is so annoying. <laughs> oh, intercepted. Hyun right. takes the third. He's got his third going. Only one probe went down. There's the forge. Finally, we see that forge. Hmm. Now, I think we will see that third base eventually. Yeah. I don't know what else he would be going. <laughs> I, um. just ha I just have visions of like a Twilight Council coming down and him getting blink and plus two. Like. Yep. Oh, I see that for sure, man. 
Are you are you uh, a fortune teller? I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I, I think so. I think you're I think just uh, you just win cash <laughs> a lot of games today. More lings on the way as well. Destroys yeah. the uh, the rock tower. Yeah, the zealot uh, mothership core move out here, designed to force additional links. There are 15, in fact, on the map, so it's actually trapped like, just barely behind in probes. Really close. Oh, recall! Uh, no. Nope. Not even sure if he thinks it's worth it. No, I guess it's too zealous. Yeah. See what else he uses his uh, mothership for in. See if it was worth it to to not use that. Yeah, well, I wonder what else he's got planned for the. There's that uh, twilight that uh, Valdez predicted through sorcery yeah. visions. Total like telepathy. Yeah. Um, you get like a crystal ball. ESP. <laughs> uh, it's like I actually got a radio. Like he's like talking oh, to trap right the now. Oh, it's the taste lope again. Oh, oh my god. Oh, look at that. He's, he's just running rope. around. I want to see him kill it. Can he kill it? Oh. Uh, well, he could. I would actually just chase it down. Even it took my links the whole map to chase it. <laughs> Third base uh, coming up and here. And then I lose the game because of it. And I'm like, well. I don't know if the taste slope is biological, actually. Um, like the Ursadoc is. Like it can be healed by Medivex. I would think it would be. I think so, too, but I just don't know. It's, it's not like something I really check into. Either. We need a StarCraft scientist, like a StarCraft biologist on this. <laughs> That uh, woman from uh, the Wings Delivery campaign like died, so I guess there's like no more StarCraft scientists. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. That was ruthless. Um, there's the uh, the Sentry push out. This is what he'll be using his recall for, unless he makes a horrible mistake. Eight Sentries. Mm. That's definitely going to be that Blink to follow up, as we do see Blink on the Blink, way. Blink cannons. Uh, wall at the third base. What's well, a pro production like? Hmm. Let's take a look at that. He was making them. He's got 57. He's saturating that third. We don't really see the empty Nexus, uh, empty third anymore. Yeah, not really. Yeah, I guess not much need. Just needed to make that big ball of Sentry Stalker upgrades. And we yeah. are seeing early Viper. Mm. Yeah, quick Viper Hydra. Mm. Nice. Can do work, but we haven't seen much success with it today at all against this composition. Quite the opposite, actually. Yeah. Blink about to finish. Is that fourth base to the left side? Yeah. Scout's not high. Pretty good idea to put and it on the left side. immediately Templar archives. Yeah, it looks like he just wants to play, you know, late game, get a fourth base. Mm. Not going to be seeing that attack with plus two and blink after all. Could be like a poke with it, you know, and still engage, but it's not an all-in or like a, an well, attack timing. He got the Templar out, guys, because he saw the Hive upgrading, so he's like, uh, yeah. I need feedback for Vipers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's like, you know, obviously been gearing up to have like a much later type attack because he has 67 probes. This is not like a rushed out attack. Yeah. The early game of this game was quite unique as well. I love the winds in the background of this map. It's blowing. Soothing. Building the tension. You could like sleep to this sound of the, <laughs> the blizzard. Until the roaches squeal and wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have nightmares. Have you ever tried that before? Like, had the listen to like the, uh, the environmental sounds or whatever they have uh, to help you sleep better? Like, like little storms and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Rainy, rainymood.com. Yeah, I've never. Oh, yeah. I, I love that. I've never seen that before, but I, but I've. It's a real thing. If you pump it up really loud and your room is dark, it actually feels like it's raining. That's pretty cool. Check that out. I don't know if it helps me sleep or not. I guess it would. It's just sometimes it's just like a change of pace. Yeah. Especially if it's like dark in your house and um, you can even listen to it like very quietly while you're playing games or something. Mm -hmm. I've done that before. Would that put you to sleep? No. I mean, I don't do it when I'm playing StarCraft or like CS, for example, because I really need like sounds to be like really precise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a game like Heroes or even like just like a single player is kind of grindy. Okay. Yeah. Well, this attack over here could actually be destined to fail. Like, he might actually just get trapped here with a bunch of force fields. Well, we've seen that a hundred times today. Let's see it one more. He's got a sick concave, though. Yeah. Storm is almost done. Not really much in the, the natural there to kind of push oh back God. on either. He lost his, uh, his core. Yeah. Cybernetics core. All right. There's the trap. Uh, no pun intended. On these units. I thought you were going to say the trap patience because that's what we're seeing here as well. Yeah. He's no just, storms he will like yet. not move until he's ready. 
Well, Zealots to block. There's another force. So God, this is patient. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. The storms are not in the right place. If they were at the natural, this would be like so easy. Looking for those feedbacks. He's going for it. Might just storm. Yun is deep, man. Oh, oh my God. God. Damage has already been done, though. That's it, man. Welcome to the most cost inefficient army of your life. Yeah. It doesn't kill anything. It stops some tech, but that's about it. It's like the damage gets done at the front. He he kills the gates and like gets through. But that's it. Like, what happens now? What now? Like, grats, you're in his natural where there's no way to avoid storm. Two robo mm. follow up. Nice. Just massive Whoa. mortal Templar, man. And you're golden. Nice. And you're this going home. Fourth base is not saturated. Even though he has 70 drones, he could send some over there. Uh, 11 more Hydras. He's just like, Hydras, Hydras, more Hydras. This is what Hyun does. They're going to get stormed to death. Yeah, that's the biggest problem here. Uh, yeah, plus three Archons, more Templar. And yeah, I assume he's going to have like a lot of Immortals with this. Two sentries and the, the rocks. The ice hasn't even been touched. So... He needs to kill that, so he can play in time to react. And he could try to trap this army. I mean, looks like he's just, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Three arc guns. Oh, boy. Oh. It's yep. been a long day for everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bit awkward. Like, he could have just forced it to the ramp and tried to come around the back. He doesn't know if there's burrow movement. I guess that's one of the reasons why he decided not to do that. Oh, big oh, Nasty, man. Oh. <laughs> and that should actually be game, I think, this time. That is simply too much damage. He might even blink on top. Yep, should. Yep, there we go. Kills the Viper. Big blank. And that's going to be it. Trap will advance. Nice. To the Challenger League. I don't think, I don't think we'll see Hyun leave just yet, though. Like, he isn't insanely behind supply. He might try one more sort of attempt at making an army and then go for it. Well, I think he's going to try to make an army to defend because yeah. attacking at this point, I think, is just totally out of the question. This base is dead. Um, dead arena. I think, like, right now, Trap's like, I think I did it. He's, like, seeing with the Observer. He's like, I think I think I got this. One more careful build-up in case he gets, like, surrounded or something. He is, like, ready to recall. Well, he's got Archons now as well, like, there's no chance. I think he didn't blink forward. <laughs> yeah, I think he will. Oh. Huge time warp as well. And there aren't even any storms with this army, but if he had them, it would even be nastier. Gonna Blinding Cloud is just, yeah. it's just like an attempt to slow this down. It doesn't matter. No chance at all. Completely one-sided. It's actually kind of insane how one-sided this was. Well, it was just predictable, and it was countered and dealt with, and, and like Valdez has, set, has like stressed several times, just a ton of patience out of trap. Ton of patience out of trap in that series. Yeah, yeah, very true. Really cool. So, so um, I think we're gonna like maybe take one more look at the brackets and and get an update on what's yeah. going on in the final game. Try to see what's happening. Actually, get a like a broad view of uh, what's going on down here at the qualifiers. Yeah. Um, because like beyond that, there's not much else for us to say. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we we it's we, been a long day, guys. We literally detailed that game to death. Like there was nothing else to say about it. Um. I feel like uh, today's been kind of cool. Uh, a lot of Zergs making it through Hyun, uh, the first notable to not really. Um, I yeah. think he still has a chance, right? No, uh, last game. I well, think that was his, I think that was loser's match, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm not like, sure. don't 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 kill me. Anyway. <laughs> like, I don't have this in front of me. We've literally cast like because because Trap to beat MMA down there and he faced Hyun, who defeated Creator. Right. Um. Okay. Let me just take a look at this. Uh, yeah, creator is still in this. Well, actually, this bracket is outdated. Let me check another one. 